Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving question 36 from the first chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook Mechanics of Materials and we have a steel pipe of 400 mm outer diameter that is fabricated from 10 mm thick plate by welding along a helix that forms an angle of 20 degrees with the plane perpendicular to the axis of the pipe. We know that the maximum allowable normal and shear stress in this direction are respectively 60 megapascal for normal and 36 megapascal for shearing stress and we need to determine the magnitude p of the largest axial force that can be applied to the pipe so we solved the previous question in the channel i'm going to put the video at the end of this video so basically for finding the normal stress and shearing stress we found two formula which was P cosine squared of the angle that we have 20 degrees over the area and the area that we are talking about is the area of the pipe if we look at it from the top we'll have something like this and since we know the thickness of this wall is 10 millimeter and from the question we know the outer diameter is 400 millimeter so if we want to find the inner diameter in here we basically have 400 minus 2 times 10 uh, millimeter, which will be 380. And that's because we know each of these walls are 10. So that's going to be our inner diameter or 380. So if we want to find the area, we basically have the pi over 4 since we have the diameter. So 400 squared minus 380 squared, or basically we are subtracting the area of the bigger uh, circle that we have minus the area of the smaller one so that's going to give us the area of that ring that we are looking for here so that's the formula for the area that we found and since all the dimensions are in millimeter we're going to have 10 to the minus 6 in order to get it in meter square so we have that a in here and for finding the shearing stress we're going to get p sine of 20 degrees times cosine of 20 degrees over a again in the previous video i showed where these two formulas are coming from so feel free to check it out at the end of this video it should be showing up on the screen so feel free to watch it if you need to so basically we're going to get p from each of these two and at the end of the, the question, we're going to go with the lowest P that we get from each of these. Because that way we're going to be safe for the other one. So let's say if at the end of this question we found our P from uh, our shearing stress uh, 300 Newton. And if you find it from our normal stress 200 Newton, we have to go with this one. Because that 300 force is going to make uh, stress more than what it can tolerate in here we know this has to be less than or equal to 60 megapascal and our sharing rate same thing it has to be 36 megapascal so at the end of this we're going to go with the highest because the question is asking for the largest axial force and whatever p we get from each of these two we're going to go with the lowest p so let's figure out from the first one so from the first one our p let's call this one first this one second so our p in here would be normal stress times a over cosine squared of 20 degrees so 60 megapascal 60 10 to the 6 times cosine squared of 20 degrees so our p would be 60 times 10 to the 6 times our a pi over 4 400 squared minus 380 squared times 10 to the minus 6 over cosine squared of 20 degrees and let's see what we get in here and that's going to give us uh, p in newton so the 10 to the 6 and 10 to the minus 6 will be cancelled out so basically we have 60 times i divided by 4 times 400 squared minus 380 squared and we're going to divide that by 
cosine of 20 degrees, cosine squared of 20 degrees. So that's going to be 832.518.89 Newton or 832.5 kilonewtons. So that's our first P. Let's go with the second scenario and see what we get from our shearing stress. So for that, our P would be shearing stress times A. And on the denominator, we have sine of 20 degrees times cosine of 20 degrees. So the maximum uh, shearing stress is 36. Again, megapascal, so times 10 to the 6 times same a pi over 4, 400 squared minus 380 squared, 10 to the minus 6 over sine of 20 times cosine of 20. So let's find the value for shearing stress. 36 times pi divided by 4 times 400 squared minus 380 squared. And we're going to divide that by sine of 20 divided by cosine of 20. So that's going to be 1372.4 kilonewtons. So one of them is 1000 something and the other one is 800. As I said, we have to go with the lowest one because that way we're going to be safe for the other one. Because if you pick the 1372, we know that this is going to make a stress more than definitely 60 megapascals, so it's going to fail. And we have to go with the P800 32.5 kilonewton in order to be safe in here. So, hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, feel free to check the playlist out and let me know if you guys have any specific problem that you want me to cover in the next videos. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.